Hello everyone, and this time I was interrupted. I accidentally pressed the stop button than the pause button. So, for my part 2 video, so every day, every week, week 1, 2, 3, and each day, I would see by the time that the day resets to the 5 to 4 a.m. of Mickey time, I check what, well, what is the highest um, score. Uh, people did in Star Arena in their top 20 so if you look closely I took only top top 1 top 10 top 5 uh, wait wait top 1 top 5 top 10 wait top 1 5 10 15 because you know I want to see what is the difference between them if I get this score can I guarantee the top the first place or top 10 and so on so uh, my first week was uh, uneventful as I said you start with 760 points okay so as I noticed in day um, it's a little messed up but day 7 this was the first place 5th place 10th fifth, place and 15th place so I was a bit um, scared because the comparison between the first place and 5th place was very wide but then I started with the second week um, in the first day in their first day they finished off at 1600 so I told myself if I get to finish on the first day on the 1600 mark or above then I am safe for the top spot and so on and I did so with many other days see day 2 day 3 day 4 and this is my work on 10 weeks on 11 weeks of research studying on how many points I have to acquire in order to get the top spot. If you notice, the last day is like 4,400, 4,200, and so on. Okay, it stopped. So yeah, that was my extensive research for this. Now, my second one is acquiring the to each top scoring item of each stars arena in each category. All this you have to do in Nikki's info. Yeah, there's a lot of effort collecting all these items. Some items are easy to obtain. Some items, for example, like this one. It's from the Hell Suit. And this one is, uh, it, it's very hard. It drops only in the pavilion. To evolve it is a hell ton of work and so on. But some items like these, and this, these are princess drops. You can ev evolve them. Very easy. But these come from Hell Event. The, what, what is it called? Ghost Gathering Hell Event. Miss Bone. Uh, this is from this hell event, the, um, the rerun. Let me show you. Cat, uh, no, actually they stopped. Yeah, too late. Yeah, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, so on, yeah. So you can, you check every category, every item. What is the item that you can get? For example, some items like, for example, the hair in this one. Right here? No, in the here. This hair is th as a top scoring item in some place. Where is that hair? It is that clown girl's hair. Hmm. Are maybe special? Nope. Well, it is somewhere else, okay? For example, I'll show you from the shoes. Oh my god. Let me show you from the shoes category, okay? And the makeup. The, this shoes is very top scoring in, I think, Beach Party and something else. So some items you can gain by evolving them, crafting them, or straight up buying them from the store if available, or from events. This is also top scoring, top scoring, and so on. All according to Nikkei's info. If you don't want to spend diamonds, for example, I don't want to spend diamonds on them. So all items I got are from events and... Uh, Crafting and evolution and hell suits, yes. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so this was my week long preparation. Now, let me so, um, as I said, you choose your opponent with the highest points with the lowest score. If your score difference is 10,000, then you're safe, as long as your opponent has good points. Let me show you my um, progress of each day each opponent and each score item i got for uh each of day of the week so let me show you so as you see here i've prepared a list of my status arena scores 
and if you check here <laughs> yes this is it so day one with my free tries automatically you will get 40 40 40 40 9 60 and then you get your reset button for if you're v9 you're only allowed to reset 25 times but v10 you you're allowed to maxima to maximum reset 30 tries no matter if you're v10 v11 or v12 as long as you're v10 30 resets is the maximum amount of reset you can ever do that so if you're v11 it's still 30 v12 it's still 30 so if you're v10 that's it you can start doing the stylist arena so for my first day i chose my opponent i was 960 I chose my opponent with a reset. It's 20 diamonds for every reset. For my first opponent, I chose someone who was higher than me. See the point difference? And see the score I got in the end. I got 23. So the higher their score, the higher the points you will receive and the higher your points will be. So for example, I get 1,500, 23, same thing. Sometimes you'll get those miraculous moments where you get a high opponent, like super high opponent. I was 1,120 and they were 3,545 and they gave me 30 points. You would regularly get 20, but these were 30. And I got 2,100 at one point. And you know what? I keep on changing, changing, changing opponents until I get the opponents whose points are higher than me. But then you come to days where they cannot exist anymore. You have to decide on opponents um, you have to choose opponents whom you know you, you can guarantee some big points so for for my first days after okay first day is always the easiest you can always find everyone who is higher than you but second to the seventh day it's very hard so I stuck to opponents with 1400 or above points but as you see you get lower and lower and lower points as the days goes by you see 18 then 17 because the higher your score gets the lower your score gets in the end i mean when you after the opponent so the higher your score the lower scores you get after each win so 18 17 and then 15 16 and then 14 13 11 up to my very last day you see Day number 6, 11, 10, and then this is day number 7. See, my, this is my score, 3,829, and these are my opponents. Sometimes I would miraculously find the 2,000 mark uh, opponents, which I'm glad for, and they would give me 11 and at most. So if you would like me to make a word file of, my, of each opponent so you can get the first place, I'll be happy to just say so in the comments. So, I, I took the first place with 4,003 points. Now, I still have so many resets available, but I did not want to spend my diamonds. But, I did not want to spend my diamonds, like, over the top. As long as I get the first place, I'm happy. So, for example, let me show you how I look like on the very last day, on the very last hour. Because the difference between all the days and the last day... The last day resets exactly when Love Nikki says 24 hours. But unlike other days, they reset around the uh, 4 a.m. Nikki time. So let me show you my um, scores. Okay. Here you guys have it. In my first day of the week, um, uh, you can see at the bottom I'm, I'm at number one with points of 1,622 and you can see the second place what had 1,559 third place had this fifth place had so and so so I was higher by the second place by um, by a few points so uh, and yeah and then the second day uh, I got 2,159 and then the third day let me check and you see, in the third day, how much? 2,701. And then the fourth day, 3,062. And then the fifth day, 3,382. And the sixth day, 3,758. And then on the final day, 4,003. 
Now I'm already higher than everyone, so why would I spend more diamonds to get even higher? So I'm saving diamonds that way, but I really wanted to get that 4,000 marks, so <laughs> I spoiled myself a little bit in that area. Now, you'll ask me, wait a minute, fairy tale garden can't be just for stunning beauty. How did, how did you get that image there? Well, this is a trick some people did that I learned. Your, la your latest battle, uh, um, the Celeste Arena, will show you your latest battle, which is your latest Steam Fairy Tale Garden, and the latest suit you've used. Not your best suit, your latest suit. So on my very last attempt, I bought one attempt and searched for an opponent, a very low scoring opponent, and used this dress and this uh, uh, soul, the, uh, uh, um, the flower begonia, whatever, as my lasting impression picture as the first place. You know, sometimes, you know, if you get first place, you would look somewhere like, like this. This is my top scoring item in Fairytale Garden. But I wanted to have a nice image at the end, like this. How? I learned this by studying these people, okay? Uh, uh, let me see. Who did this? For example, this person, Stella, 4,372. I could not understand how Banshee Momiji on its own, with that freaking sapphire makeup, got number one then i learned that it only uses your latest it your latest outfit that you have chosen not your best score your last outfit and so she used that she used that outfit as like haha i got first place with sapphire which is not true so if you want to do that choose an opponent opponent that you can beat like i chose an opponent that had eleven thousand points so my stunning beauty can have some good points in the elegance and stuff, especially with the soul item. So yeah, to keep that lasting image. So my lasting image is my beloved stunning beauty. And it so happens that Love Nikki um, posted this uh, post about uh, stunning beauty. So I'm, so I'm like, this is the perfect time to add this suit. <laughs> so yeah. So yeah, to get first place and all those resets that shown to you on my notebook, I spent 3,980 diamonds, almost 4,000. So um, yeah, that's the amount of diamonds as V10. See, let me show you as V10. V10, okay, let me show you V9. I used to be V9 when I first time tried for the Celeste Arena. Unfortunately, I got place number 21. So I want nothing, spend gems for nothing. So if you see, you can buy challenges 25 times in Stardust Arena, but when you're V10, you buy 30. If you're V11, 30, V12, 30, V13, 14, it's still 30. So as long as you're V10, you get the maximum amount of retries, of resets. So you're good. So that is how I, um, so I learned the harsh lesson in my first attempt. And my second attempt, I made sure I was well prepared. I had my research done. I had the top scoring items. I had Love Nikki's info on my side and started. And so, yeah, the best thing about this is even though it costs so much gems, I got so much star coins in return. And of course, as the first place winner, I get also diamond compensation, gold and star coins. Lovely. And finally, the moment we've been waiting for. The achievement for the stylist contest. Masks Queen is for top 20. And Crystal Rose for top 10. And with that, I finally finished my Crystal Rose set. <gasps> oh my god, there's a number one? I did not know! Wow! Oh my god, so... Along with top 20, top 10, there's also a top 1 achievement. Wow! I get 500 diamonds. Wow! I did not know that's so good. That is so good. Yay! So it's a good thing I became number 1. 
So now my stylist competition is number one. Wow, so not only do I get 500 diamonds as number one in the stylist arena, I also get 500 diamonds as number one in the achievement too. Wow, that is so sweet. Oh God, I'm so happy. Oh, I can finally claim her. Oh yes, oh yes. <laughs> Finally, I am done with Stylist Arena farming. Now I can go back to my life and focusing on farming, white sakura, and other Nikki stuff. Thank you for watching, and I hope this tutorial will help you if you're trying to get the first place too. If you want me to register my opponent scores, you know, each score of each opponent on a word document and put it on reddit tell me so i can write down because you know i'm tired <laughs> of course i'm tired i've been through so much so yeah that's all thank you for watching